Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My brethren, my name is Sister Obiagede Alisigwe. I'm living at Ijecha here. My, my address is here at Ijecha. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I joined Choosing in the year 2004. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Be formerly, we are living at uh, Anambra State. So I want to thank this very God of Choosing for delivering my son from the spirit of insanity. Hmm. Clap on to God of Tuesday. He has done it again. Thank you, Father. The sickness started there at uh, Anambra State from East. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when he started, he broke all the glasses in our house. He was even forcing himself to enter inside pit toilet there. He was so violent then. So we decided to take him to hospital, to psychiatric hospital. When we took him there, after all the treatment, all to no avail. Now we decided to bring him at Ijecha here. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We came the week that doing Solo to Joy program. So during that time, as we came now, he's the one that jumped inside canal that week that did uh, Solo to Joy. He just ran. From that side, he jumped inside canal <coughs> because of the violence of the madness. <coughs> so, but brethren here, they helped us. They brought him out by putting something to him for him to come out. Now he came at that time. So he was so violent that time that every time, he, he, when the thing started, he would like to run out and go to Ijecha bus stop. So I will be pleading, any man I see, the, any man I see, there, I will be pleading for him to help me. They will hold him. Even four men cannot be able to hold him because of that, the level of madness. So we have to shame him. If we shame him in the hands and feet, he can even use the hand to break somebody's head that time. Oh. Unless we shame him and tie him on the rod, that is when he will cool. So the madness continues like this, continues to the extent that he can even run to the field and be plugging grasses and be eating it raw like that. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sometimes he will like to go at any moving vehicle he see on the road. He will stand in the middle of the road and ask the vehicle to kill him that time. He can even take stick and be chewing it and be eating. The level of madness, my brethren, was so miserable that hmm. time. So that's, in fact, no security in this situation because we decided to stay here waiting for God of choosing intervention. No security at this situation that didn't know this boy, Ebuka in this choosing area. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because of the madness, sometimes when you see this uh, police vehicle that was patrolling here and there, he will jump inside the vehicle. In fact, it was so miserable. My, my brother, you cannot understand. So, one certain time, he decided to move out of the church environment. He got missing. We mm. started looking for him. We shared everywhere at this Lagos. We didn't see him. So I continue presenting the matter to God of Jesus until one faithful Thursday. My daddy mentioned the case. He said that you that is looking for your beloved ones, that he gave us from now to three days, that he will come back, he will communicate with us. Hmm. So he mentioned the case on Thursday. And on Friday, my phone rang. I picked it. It was my brother that was living at Ekotu. He now told me that I should come over, that Ebuka have come to his house now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now I ran to his house. I saw him. In fact, during that, I didn't even know where he go because of the madness. So, my brethren, I, if I continue saying what he did here, I'm pleading for those that he wounded at this gesture. So he can use uh, share and break some people said. So let them forgive him. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So he continued like that until after the program Hope for the Barren. That Hope for the Barren program, we attended it fully. After the Hope for the Barren program, we now decided to move down to the east, where we come from. So, on reaching home now, he got held. Power! 
<laughs> that is the conclusion of the matter. You know, a person will always say, but now, what happened? He got, clap unto God and appreciate him. Clap to the God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. She's impressed the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want to use this opportunity to appreciate this God of chosen because he really did wonders in my life. I also thank brethren that helped us during that period of madness. May good Lord bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm praying for my daddy in the Lord. Heaven at last. Our mommy, heaven at last. And all the choosing worldwide. Heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Let him say praise the Lord. Let him say praise the Lord, your son. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Say it again. Say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What's your name? My name is Mwaka Shkwebuka. David. And you are healed now. Yes, sir. Perfectly healed. Yeah. Madness is gone. Give God or choosing a big clap of it. Clap unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of chosen. What a mighty God that we serve. Uh, the description of that madness is terrible, to say the least. But see what God or choosing can do. Is a typical learning point for everyone that if you bring any matter into the Lord chosen be assured that the matter must be treated and solution given if you listen to her they were here since February and even in May hope for the baron when they left he had not been here but as soon as they got home healing took place this is the place to be no matter the level of the crisis, nothing can be greater than this. Highest level of, you know, violent madness. But God is in death with it. A pastor says, continuation brings. Clap unto God again and appreciate it. Clap unto the God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. My name is Sister Eze Fevo, and beside me is my mother, Sister Anne Eze. We reside at number 57, Falano Street, Ejibo. We joined choosing, my mommy joined choosing in the year 2003, but I was born in choosing precisely in the year 2003. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I want to thank the God of choosing for making me to be the overall student, the overall best student in my school for the third time. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. And as a result, I was granted scholarship for three consecutive times. Hey! Hallelujah! And these are the certificates. Should praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Thank you, Father. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing people, praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I make a vow to the God I've chosen. I told God I've chosen, if you did it for me, I'll give him a token. This is the token. Choose the praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray for my daddy G. I pray for my pastor, have not trust. I'm on me, have not trust. All the choosing worldwide, have not trust. Me and my family, have not trust. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him on higher level. Clap unto God. For those the victories, the favor, and confirmation of the blessings of God of chosen. Remember that if you are there, I have testimonies of God of chosen. God has blessed you in previous meetings, retreats, and crusades. We would like to hear your testimonies. Go to my left hand side by the pulpit area so that our testimony interviewers will give you opportunity to testify. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Today people pray, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Victory Daniel. I'm living in Jesha here. I joined choosing in the year 2017, me and my husband. And I thank God for the genuine salvation of my soul. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. Susan, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for the favor of God of Susan. God of Susan favor me with 35,000 naira. Clap on to God of Susan. It's a month of jubilee for captain. My second testimony. Early last year, 2018, around 5 a.m., we received a call from home that my father-in-law had given up. I did not hear anything from him again. I turned my face to our daddy calendar, and I started praying, even though I'm a newcomer then. I started praying. I said, if you are the one that do the miracle in the Lord Susan, I want you to do this one for me. My husband is a person, and we don't have money to go for burial now. I don't have father. This is the only father we have now. God of Susan is a vain for me. This Baba will not die. So when we pray that prayer, we now call our brand pastor, then we were in the brand then, that time. I call Pastor Innocent Ibe, and he prayed for us. He said we should call home again. That said, you put the phone in our papa ear, that you hear us and wake up. Hey. Then my husband now put phone, they call them. They, they said they should give, uh, give papa phone. They said no. Papa cannot even do anything again. How could they give him phone? He said they should put phone for Papa here. So they do what he say. And he now say, Baba, Baba, it's me, Daniel, that I'm calling you. I am a Susan. You cannot die this time. Wake up. Hey. And before you know, Baba stood up. Power! Go to chosen answer prayer. Clap on to God and appreciate him. And when Papa wake up, I remind him. I say, Baba, you say that Yahweh, you carry my children. You will not die, you never carry my children. And I know that you live even beyond my father. My father is one who sits before he dies. You live beyond my father. That is what I told him. And since that last year till now, my, that father is still okay. He stands well. Help. Oh, God of Tuesday. I thank God. If say we are not a Susan, I don't know what could have happened now. May his name alone be glorified forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. Adi Johnson, I want to pray my geo. I'm not qualified, but the Lord that call you, you will not make, you will not faint on the way. You run this rain to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. I wish all the Susan worldwide, heaven at last. My geo and mommy, the Lord, all the family, heaven at last. Me and my family, heaven at last. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You know, I love that prayer that was made on the dead, their dead father. Because the brother said, Papa, wake up. It's me, Daniel. He did not stop there. He now has to identify himself properly. His identity. He said, I am a choosing. And that was the key. That was the password. And the father came out back to life. Always remember to apply the right identity. And that is that you are choosing. That's why we kill the giant. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Clap unto the God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. The next testifier. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I am by name Patrick Eba. I live in Iba Estates. 
or just Lagos. And I belong to Iba Central Region 1. And also, I come to Chuzi 2010. And I thank God who made me and my family choosing people. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. Hallelujah. I am here to return all the glory to God of Chosen, God of my pastor, who delivered me from the hand of armed robbers. Thank you, Lord. You Thank you, Father. Amen. So it happened on the 10th of May, 2010. And uh, it was in the night, around 9.30 to 10. I noticed that there was a noise where I am selling, uh, make, selling market in my business area. There was a noise. So when I came outside, I saw that somebody knocked a man down. And the man was asking, what did I do for you? What did I do for you? And I noticed that they said the man. So I, it was, I, to me, come to me, this is armed robbers operation. So in my area, in my shop, there is a burglary that I used to cover the front of the shop. So one of them entered the burglary and came to where I was standing and he shouted on me. He said, where is the money? So I shouted back to him and said, which money? So he pointed his gun directly on my face. Then he did not say anything. I was looking at him, he was looking at me. The second one came and pointed his own gun at the right hand of my ear and said, if you don't bring that money, I waste you. Then I now replied to him, I said, no, you cannot waste me because I am a choosing. I am a choosing. I am a choosing. So I shouted three times like that. I never even had I'm Robert, who are you? Two of them with their gun, they flew away. Clap on to God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. So, brethren, I am here to return all the glory and honor, all the adoration, praises, and thanks to the God of Chosen who confirmed the word of my pastor in my life. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then, my second testimony is that God of Chosen granted me safe journey. I traveled to the village on 10th of this month, and the enemy gang up on the road. Although they have said I should not go to detail and detail, but the, truly, the enemy wanted to prove what they, they can do, but they don't know that I am a chosen. So a lot of things happen on the road, but I thank God, God of choosing deliver us. And the last of it all is that we noticed at the back tire of the vehicle, it was, there was a noise. And we were telling the driver, there was, there was a noise at the back tire. And the driver ignored us. And it was a motion. On getting to Benin, he parked somewhere at the mechanic and organizer area. And uh, when they opened the, the wheel cover, they discovered that it is only one boat that was remaining at the tire. Hmm. Only one boat was remaining. And uh, I know that why that one, more, one boat did not cut off is because God of choosing is on the throne. Correct. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I thank God very much that he led me successfully. Even in the meeting that we went to the village, God of choosing take over. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So at this juncture, I want to pray for my daddy in the Lord. That wherever he wherever he go, wherever he has, that the lion of tribe of Judah will stand by him in Jesus' name. Amen. And that he will make heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. A moment in the Lord and the entire family, I pray. 
heaven at last for every one of them in Jesus' name. Amen. And all the choosing worldwide, I pray heaven at last for all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Welfare department, I pray for all of you, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Me and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing, praise the Lord. And you listen carefully. Are you there, brother? When did you come to choosing for the first time? 2010. 2010. So yeah. you've been old enough in the choosing. Now I'd like you to listen, and the church also listen very carefully on the instructions of our pastor when you meet with an robbers or danger. So you apply it strictly according to his instruction. It is true that our brother applied it halfway. That's what I will say. But God of choosing, see, appeared in his glory. Our pastor said, once you sense that there is danger, Declare who you are. Don't begin to ask them uh, what they say. He said, they said, where is the money? He said, which money? That's not the instruction. And he said, you want to waste it? He said, you cannot waste it. That's not the instruction. He said, once you sense that there is danger, what do you do? I am a chosen. I am a chosen. I am a chosen. You am robber. Who are you? And then if he continues, shout out, the God of my pastor, where are you? That's the instruction. Obey it strictly. That is why some people delay and waste time and they begin to slap them first and hit them. So obey the instructions strictly and from the inception they will run away. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Joshua Imo. I live on number 25 Isa Street, Joshua. I want to thank God for making me to take first position in my class. Power! Hey, hey, hey. First class of people. Thank you, Lord. I pray for my daddy, Gio, heaven at class, and all the chosen ones, heaven at class. Chosen is first class. Thank you, Father. What class? In what class did you take first position? Basic two. Basic two. How old are you? Seven. Seven years? Yes. Are you a choosing? Yes. Clap unto God and appreciate him. Clap to the God of chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. They will take over the world for Jesus Christ. The next testifier. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Fon Ephion. And my daughter names Abundant Blessing Ephion. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God of choosing for making me a choosing. Thank you, and Father. And I joined choosing 2003 from Elasa. This is the month I joined choosing. Month of Jubilee for the captain. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And my testimony go like this. I want to thank God of choosing for deliver me in the hand of the wicked one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it happened on Wednesday because I'm evangelist. I always preach in the bus morning. Every morning I used to preach in the bus. Hmm. And it happened on Wednesday morning I went out, me and my daughter from Lakey because I'm from Lakey. I'm Jaconde Brown, Beauty Brown, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So when I count out the power, I start preaching. After I preach, I pray before I preach. A legend of darkness stand and challenge me. But I want to thank God of choosing that give me victory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when I start preaching, a lady inside both start attacking my life. As the girl attacked me, I know it's a lady that attacked me. He stand up and point me and like this. He chained me. But I said, I come against all the power and the power silent, choosing praise the Lord. And when I reached CMA, the girl snapped me with a camera phone. He snapped me again, me and my daughter with camera phone. I declare, I am a choosing. I am a choosing. I am a choosing. Who are you? And where is the God of my pastor power? The power go back to the sender. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is my first testimony. God of choosing see me through. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And my second testimony go like this. I want to thank God of choosing for what I, I, God has done. I want to understand you properly. I want to understand you properly. 
Praise the Lord. That testimony said you were preaching, is that correct? Yes, I'm preaching the bus on morning cry because I used to preach every morning in the bus. Uh -huh. So when I preach from Lakey, a lady stand up in the bus and challenge. I don't know there is agent of darkness inside the bus. I don't like the word of God. That is the enemy of righteousness. When I start preaching, I say, take authority again, every end of righteousness, end of the word of God. I change the kingdom. I a lady stand up inside the bus and point her on me on the back because a lady sit on front of me. That is driver before me. He stand up and warn me. And he point her like this for me. I declare I'm a chosen. I start preaching. When I read CMS, I come down. A lady snap me with camera phone. And snap me and my daughter because I always go together. Praise the Lord. And the girl throw arrow for me, but I thank God of choosing that deliver me. Praise on, the Lord. Clap on to God. That was dominion and miracle for you. Yes. Praise that, Master Chief. That, that snapping is in vain. Praise yes. the Lord. Hallelujah. And my second testimony go like this. I want to thank God of choosing for what God did seen do in my life. I thank God of choosing that helping me to send this my daughter in choosing international in Lakey. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I thank this good God because this good old God and back me up. Before when I don't send my daughter in the choosing or, or choosing school, I don't be like this. But when I send this my daughter in choosing school, I see the handwork of God. Mm. And God of choosing that province safe in choosing international in Lakey. Because this my daughter has do well. I thank God for that. That is I'm here to return all the glory for this good God. Because this good God is so faithful in my life. I don't believe. When I faced challenge, because I lost something, something happened, but God of choosing backed me up in this journey. So I want to thank this good God, because he's doing me a great thing. God of choosing that surprised me. But I said, let their name alone be glorified this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray for my pastor even at last. As the mountain surrender Jerusalem, let the anointing be surrendered in Jesus' name. And Amen. I pray for our mommy G.O. heaven at last, my G.O. children heaven at last. I pray for all chosen one heaven at last. And I pray for evangel, evangel, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You mean your daughter is in choosing international secondary school, Lekki? Yes, sir. What? Okay, and you are happy yes, with sir. what is coming out of her. Yes, sir. Give her the microphone. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What's your name? My name is Abundant Blessing Ephraim. You are in which school? Choose International School. Lakey? Yes. What class? I, what class are I'm you in there? I'm going to primary four. Primary four? Yes. And you are happy? Yes. Would you like to tell other people to come to that school? Yes. So it's a very good school? Yes. Your mother is so happy with what is coming out. Let's clap on to God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God, of choosing. Well, if you are living in Lake Aziz, Logos Island, all those Autonomous, you are living in those areas. That is the school for you, for your children. And uh, I have an announcement here that they are relocating from Agungi to Ekota Lake, still, still in Lake. So parents and guidance are advised, those that live in that area, Lagos Island, Victoria Island, Lake, Ekpe, send your children there. And you can be sure they will enjoy the same miracle that is happening in choosing Festac and Nambudi. Praise the Lord. The next testifier. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Sister Success and Choosing. I joined Choosing. The year 2008, and I'm living here in Ijecha. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for making me to be a choosing. Thank you, Father, for making her a chosen. Thank you, Lord. And I want to thank God for using angel of my pastor to break the yoke of curse in my family. The yoke of course that have lasted more than 90 years. Hmm. Hmm. 
Mm. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happened like this. I grew up, when I grew up in my family, I found out that the male children that my mother born, they used to have mental problem. To that extent, they were three in number, and that three, they experienced the same thing. But one of them, the middle one, his own stop, but the first son and the last son, they always run madness. Sometimes they will be running this madness at the same time. Mm. And uh, there is no type of native doctor that my parents have never called looking for the solution. No avail. They started calling prayer. And people are coming different churches in my family to pray. No avail. Then, in this process, my parents, they're gone. Then, I have to carry up the mantle as I become born again. Then, I keep on praying, praying, no avail. Sometimes, there was a time that you reached, I took uh, down my junior one, he went to gather things. He said, we become native doctor. I said, that one cannot happen because I am a chosen. Then one day, I came back from Umbidi because any crusade I go, I will reach my family, I will go there and pray. So during that time, I come from Umbidi, I go there, I carry both choosing apron, seeker, handbill, I anointed hanky. Everything, even the sound from Obudi, I go to that shrine. I put it there. I say, you will not stand in this family. It's God or choosing that we stand in this family. No native daughter will be here. Then I left. After I left, then now my brother, he later on, he, began, he locked himself inside room. He stayed inside room. Almost one year plus. Even though when I go home and bring something, I call him. He will not come out to take anything from me. Then I say, Go, what will I do? Then there was a time we did a, we have a Olu Crusade. I went home and I carry him, go to Olu Crusade. Then we slept in the morning, the day of the crusade. Immediately, my G.O. man poop it. He ran away from the crusade ground. Hmm. Then I began to pursue him. Later, God told me, say, I should leave him that so that he will not distract me. Then he ran and go home. So I keep on praying. I don't know what to do. Then I have to go to my... I begin to look for somebody that I will ask question concerning the history of my family. Then I went to my, the a sister to my father is an old woman. I went to her, I asked her, I said, please tell me the history of my family. I want to know where this problem is coming from. Then she told me that in the that when they went somewhere and they told them that in the olden days that my grandfather, that is the father of my mother, that when he bought my mother knew he was going for market somewhere. Then he reached river. Then he picked money that they used to do sacrifice in the river. Then he took that money and go to market and buy things and use it to do many ceremony of my mother. Then since then, that is the cause of the problem. I said, okay. So this problem is not only in my family. My mother, junior sister, is also having mental problem. Mm. Then my mother, senior brother is also 
having mental problem. Hmm. Then I keep on praying, keep on praying. So you see, asking God or choosing to help me. Then one day, God or choosing to intervene. I was in the dream. I saw angel of my pastor choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then he went to that river. He confronted the spirit in that river. Hey. He said, he bring money and give to the spirit. He said, I want to come and pay for the money that the grandfather of this my daughter collected from that river. Hmm. 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 Chosen people. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then he gave the spirit the money. He asked the spirit, do you need more? I am ready to give you more. So that you can leave this my daughter alone and his people because she has suffered a lot. The spirit said, no, you don't need any other money. Then it's okay. That's a choosing matter. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, then somebody called me. He said, you go home. And he saw my brother. My brother is okay. Power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, I do not believe it. Then I go home. When I reach home, I run to the backyard where he, he put all those shrines. Those shrines is no more there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And all of them, they are healed. Hey! All of them are healed. Yes, sir. And no hearing clapping. Clap unto God of Chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. Thank you, Lord. Hey, hey. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And since then, there is a lot of changes in my family. We are having favor, something that we have never been experiencing before. And in this junction, I thank God that this God of choosing He has done this for me. May the name be highly glorified. And I'm telling the new ones to stay put. God of choosing, we see you through, no matter what is your own problem. This place is the last bus stop. Choosing, pray the Lord. I want to pray for my daddy. Whom God has used to do this great and mighty miracle for me. I said, the God I call my pastor, he will strengthen him and make him to fulfill the vision and the mandate that God has given to him. And I say, I wish him heaven at last and all the chosen ones, heaven at last and me and my family, heaven at last. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to rejoice with our sister. This is total family liberation. By one stroke, by the geo of the chosen. Praise the Lord. Please take note, you would have heard her say that when she encountered the angel of the geo in the dream, he said the angel of the geo settled the matter and returned the money that their grandparents collected from the evil spirit. And uh, you want to understand clearly that it is obviously an evil money that was collected. And that's probably why the spirit of the Lord had to return that money. So that nobody will begin to think that you can go to a river or stream to give money to spirits. We don't do that. But it's according to the operation of the Holy Spirit. And it is clear that the grandparent would have collected the full money and then the Spirit of the Lord returned it using the angel of the pastor. Praise the Lord. But it's a great testimony. You know, it became more great, greatest for me, 
when he said, after that, all of them that were mad became, it's reminiscent. It is typical of the testimony I used to share with you here. You know, I don't ever forget that testimony. How many years ago, it was at the inception of this ministry, at the very beginning, a young man appeared and testified. He said he was serving his brother in Zaria. And before then, all the seven of them in the family, five of them were mad, except him and his brother that he was serving in Zaria. Both the sisters and brother, all of them were mad, insane. And it came to a point, the brother he was serving in Zaria also became mad, remaining only him. And he said, that spirit started coming to say, it's your turn now. It's your turn. And he started running from Zaria to many places and ran down to Lagos and was going to many churches, many healing places, no solution. And one day he was passing here. He said he wanted to enter the spirit because the spirit, he said the spirit was almost appearing like a bee. The spirit told him, don't enter here. You will not get solution here. Don't enter here. But he imagined that all the places he had been going to before, the spirit never told him not to enter there. He said he managed to enter into this place. And our pastor spotted the case and ministered and destroyed the evil spirit, the kingdom, the, 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 the covenant they have in their family. He said that was how the spirit left him. And he didn't hear anything again, no sign. But the greater testimony is that when he went, returned that day, he got calls from the village that the other five people, including his brother that he served, that all of them had become healed. That the madness disappeared at the same time. You know, for me, this is a generational testimony, and I don't forget it. That's where you have come, center of power. Even today, any matter that concerns you, you will be dealt with decisively in Jesus' name. <laughs> Clap unto God and appreciate it. Clap unto the God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The next testifier. To the praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Joshua Emmanuel. I thank God for making me a chosen. Thank you, Father. I thank, thank God, God for children. giving me first for this in my class. You came first position. You took first position. Yes. What class? In what class? Thirty-one. How old are you? Five years old. Oh, God, don't choose it. They wonder what came father. Pray, God, oh, chosen. Give this great God a big clap offering. Clap unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God of chosen. I pray for my, my God, you have my glass in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I wanted to ask him whether he knows Daddy Gio, but he has gone away. These are miracles, confirmations of the calling and power upon this ministry. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Clap unto the God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Remember that if you are just coming in and you have testimonies of God of chosen, don't delay, rush, and run to my left hand side by the pulpit area. We still have time. We'll feature your testimony. We'll give you the opportunity to testify. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, moderator, I want to sing a song. Sing. Yes, go ahead. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to thank God for what he did for me. My name is Bro Jonathan Chino Nyerem. I live at number nine, Lassis Osoja, 
of Governor Road, the court room. I've been passing through this problem for more than a year, at least two years. I will, when the problem comes in my eyes, I will start having water coming out in my two eyes like somebody who is crying. And uh, the pains I received here is just like when they put somebody, uh, when pepper enter inside your eyes. So I've been tabling this matter to God of choosing if I come here. The problem continues. So it was on Potako Crusade. Hmm. I did not attend that crusade, but the last day being Sunday, I told my wife, I said, this problem, I will test my dad and the Lord so that he will pray for me, and which I did. That Sunday, I tested my, I test my dad and the Lord, believing God or choosing that the problem is over. Brethren, this problem which I am testifying here, I just want to thank God of choosing for answering the prayer of my dad and the Lord in my life. Hmm. Since that crusade day till now, I never, no water, no pains hey. has come out of my eyes. Power! Thank you, Lord! Oh, Thank God you, Lord. Choosing. In fact, I am the happiest person. Because this problem, I cannot, if I am in the Bible now, I want to read Bible. Where they wrote one, it will become 11 in my eyes. I don't see far, but now I'm seeing far. I can read my Bible very well. Thank you, so, Father. I thank this God of choosing. Who Thank delivered you. me from this problem? I say, His name alone, alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. I used to pray different prayers for my dad and the Lord. The one I will pray now is that anywhere they are planning evil against my dad and the Lord, anywhere they want to bring him down, anywhere they want to frustrate him, I pray that God will choose him with destroy that place in Jesus' name. Amen. Their plan will never work. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover my prayer with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. At the end, I pray that my daddy will make heaven with his family in Jesus' name. Amen. And my, myself and my family will make heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Including choosing members all over the world. We will make heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. Clap unto God. Clap unto God. God of choosing answers, prayer. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Mark Chinwe. I reside at number 13 Lua Bamishi. I thank God for making me a choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. My testimony goes like this. I thank God for making me to get first position in my class. To Power. Praise the Lord. Clap unto God. Thank you, Lord. Secondly, I also thank God for giving me double promotion from primary four to primary six. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. Thirdly, I would like to thank God for making my school to give me admission and scholarship. Choosing praise. Hey! Wait, oh. God of Choosing also gave you scholarship. Is that what you said? Yes, sir. Let us clap on to God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. Hallelujah. And lastly, 
I would like to thank God for making me to for giving me the talent and inspiration to write a book. Choosing praise. Yay. First class of people. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. It goes like this. There was a day my proprietors came to our class. There was a day our proprietors came to our class and picked nine people that we should write a storybook. She will choose the best. She gave us more months to write the storybook. I was among the nine. So when I was through with writing my storybook, before I submitted it, me and my mother came to the church on Thursday and prayed. My prayer point was to make me to be the best out of all. The next day, I went to submit it. Not after three days, they told me my own was the best. Hey! God the chosen answers prayer. God of chosen answers prayer. God of chosen answers prayer. God of chosen answers prayer. Don't more more than fear. The God of chosen answers prayer. Don't more 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 than fear. God of chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Let's clap unto God for answer to the prayer made on a Thursday by our little sister. So, they choose my own as the best, but they didn't publish it. Last year, I gave testimony in my branch, but my pastor said I should give it in Ecuador when they have published it. So on my party day, I was surprised when they told me they have published my book, and I wasn't aware of it. My mother and the proprietors of my school planned it, but when I came, they showed me the storybook. I was excited, and I thank God for making me to be a young author, choosing praise. Power! Hey, 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 young choosing author, praise the Lord. I pray for my daddy Gio, choosing worldwide, all the members of the choosing, my parents, my pastor Gio, my mommy Gio, my moderator, and all the choosing ones. I wish them heaven at last, choosing his first class. Mm -hmm. So are there, are those the books you are having in your hand there? Yes, sir. Is it one, one work or two, just one published, is it? There are four, yeah. There are four, four publications. Divine favor of God, one topic. Divine favor of God is one topic. And that's what you wrote on and published. Is it possible for us to get the book to read? Yes, sir. Okay, I would like to read one of them. Eh? I would so like I've... to give my daddy Gio, my mommy Gio, and my Madrito. Okay. <laughs> you have one for mommy Gio, is that correct? Then one for Daddy Gio. And who again? My Madrito. Okay. I have received my own copy. Please quickly send Daddy and Mommy's own to them. Quickly, quickly. Send their copies to them immediately, no delay. Yes, you can conclude now. Conclude your testimony. Have you prayed for our daddy? Yes, sir. You have prayed again. Pray for daddy and mommy again. I pray for my daddy and mommy, the pastor of choosing, who brought me from birth to choosing. And now I'm the young daughter of the Lord choosing. In fact, I do not have to praise the Lord of the God of choosing who have made this possible, who have given me the talent and the gift, even the inspiration to write a storybook. I thank God for making me. 
and I wish my daddy heaven at last, long life, prosperity, my mommy Gio, my moderator, all the choosing members of the choosing, my parents, and also me exactly. I thank God. I wish everyone heaven at last, choosing his first class. Power! Chosen is on the higher level. On the higher level. Chosen is on the higher level. Be a chosen and move higher. On the higher level. On the higher level. Chosen is on the higher level. Be a chosen and move higher. Be a chosen. Let them be a chosen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Unique miracles, unique gifts, and empowerment. That's what God is choosing gifts. Watch out for her at a higher level as international author. Praise the Lord. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, my name is Chinedu Stephen. I'm from Imo. My name is Chinedu Stephen. I'm from Imo State. I want to thank the God, this God of choosing that used a brother in this church to save my life hmm. on Wednesday morning. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I don't used to go to church, but I'm promising this God of choosing, anywhere I am, I will be a member of choosing. Because Thank what happened on Wednesday morning, God used a brother here to save my life when I, want, I decided to end up my life inside river. I want to jump in the river to end up my life. So I saw that brother that Wednesday morning with one sister, bro, brother Mike. So he was minister to that morning. I was going. So my, immediately I crossed the brother. My spirit said I should go and talk to this brother. Immediately I approached the brother. The brother gave me attention. Started asking me what is happening. I tell her, look at what I'm passing through. Look at what I want to do. He shouted. He said, did I know Igesha? I said, no, I don't know Igesha. He said, did I know choosing? I said, I don't go to church because of no uh, choosing. He said, okay. He gave me 500 naira and gave me his full number. I said, I should come to uh, choosing. On that one day, this one day. So since that one day, I, I have to tell the truth that God is God is here. Hey, clap on to God of chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of chosen. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank the Almighty God who used that brother hmm. to save my life. Hmm. May the Almighty God bless him. Amen. May the Almighty God establish him Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. So, you said you were going to jump into a river. Yes, sir. To because, end your life. Yes, sir, because of what I'm passing through. And uh, you heard them preaching. Yes. They were preaching. Yes. And you went back. Yes, sir. And that was how he canceled you. Yes, and sir. And the Spirit all took over. And now you came to choosing according to his advice. Yes, sir. And now you are a choosing. Yes, sir. No thought of ending your life again. No, I can't do that. Eh? We rejoice with you. And we give God all the glory. The God of the pastor of choosing. Who has uh, won souls and are preaching the word of God. Words that are impacting lives. Words that come with the power, with authority. I want to tell you that it's not every preaching that would have called him out from that death. But it's the preaching of the chosen people, preaching that is ordained from God, preaching that is coming out of the covenant that God has with his servant. I want us to rejoice and clap unto God. Make sure you continue, be a chosen and be a chosen indeed, and God will prosper you. 
I think that the devil is really on rampage. If you've been listening to new many cases of suicide, many people killing themselves in various ways, but be a choosing and spread the news, the gospel of choosing, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, and many people will be saved and live and go to heaven at last in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Kevin Neji. I reside at number three, number one, Abaje Close, of Buye De Alagbado. My branch is Dalima Branch, Alagbado. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony is about the revelation that I had concerning this ministry. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I joined the Lord Choosing, October 2004. After I joined this ministry, I, I, the Lord choosing, and I, I later, I began to ask God, I asked God to show me about the ministry, the future of this ministry. And uh, a night came, the Lord gave me the revelation. I saw a large land, an open place, like a big airport. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I saw different aircraft, aircraft from different countries, different countries of the world, hmm. landing there. Hey. And I, I saw air cargo full of goods, different type of goods. And I, I asked a question, what are these men? And those, the, aircraft that are land, the aircraft that are landing is president of different nations, prime ministers, ministers. And I asked a question, this, what are these men looking for? The voice sounded, what they are looking for is our G.O. that have what they are looking for. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And inside that cargo, I saw our G.O. There are many cargoes full of goods. Our G.O. is the one in charge of the goods, distributing the goods, all the goods, to those men. And the men, all those presidents, Prime Minister, they were on queue. Hey! On the line. Our GO was busy distributing the goods to them, one, one after another. And some of them, when he looked at their faces, when they are about to receive the goods from him, when he looked at their face, he will tell them, you are not qualified. And once he says you are not qualified, the present chapter is over, and he will face other people. He keep on distributing the goods to them, and I open my eyes. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Another revelation is this. There was a day I came to Thursday service here, and our GO was telling us that day, before he, he closed for service that day, he was telling us that any day we are, he closed us here, that we should use the bridge at the bus stop there. We should not be crossing the express. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that day, when I got home, I was having a kind of doubt in my mind. I said at times, when I get to the bus stop, there will be a hold up. It always the meaning of climbing the bridge. And I enter that night to sleep. I saw myself in that revelation at the bridge at the bus stop there. And I saw two angels with a big note in their hands. And one of, one, one of them, you are in charge, you are busy, taking the record of those that obey the word of our GO, that climbing the bridge. And one was busy, taking the record of those that disobeyed his word. I woke up, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is my the revelation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray for our GO. Heaven at last, and all the chosen all over the world. Heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Do I have any question for him? No. I pray that the Lord God himself will interpret this revelation properly to everyone. But from my own perspective, it is still all about 
the global calling upon this ministry, upon the geo of the chosen. He has a mandate, he has a calling to minister to every person all over the world, high and low, presidents, ministers, prime ministers, premiers, heads of state, whatever, name them. That is the calling. Nobody is exempted. And therefore, it also means, from my own interpretation, you have a capacity, you have a channel through which you can invite any person to the ministry of the Lord choosing, to the crusade, to the fellowship, whether it be president or prime minister. Don't delay, don't fear. Extend the invitation and leave the matter for the Holy Spirit, for God, to bring to accomplishment. It is time and it has become overdue for we, the chosen people, to make sure that we reach out to all and sundry, no matter their position in the world, and God will bring them to choosing so that they'll be saved, so that they'll be qualified. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. The next testifier. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. By special grace of God, my name is Brother Chukwe Buka Joe. I thank God for making me a chosen. Thank you, Father, for making me a chosen. I, thank, uh, I joined this ministry 2007, and my branch is both branch. Thank God for being a chosen. Thank you, Father. So, my testimony goes like this. On this mode, fifth. So we travel for my young, one of my younger sister, Traduchala, marriage. So before that travel, I got a dream. We had they stole my brother car. So when I wake up, I wake my wife who pray, I cancel. But I don't know that the car they stole is not the car; it's our life they want to stole. So. I wanted to travel on Friday, being on thought. So I said, let me go. I called my brother. He said, I should, I should come and meet me at the old day to join with his car. Instead of it, we move with uh, transport. I said, okay, better. Then I traveled to Ondo State to go and meet him so that we'll travel on Friday. So when I went to Ondo State, I shared the dream I have with him. I said, the better we do, let's suspend the journey on Friday and pray. He accepted with me. Then we pray and fast. I counsel the workers, enemy. Then on Saturday, we started the journey. So as we move to take over for the journey, along the Bini Expressway, along the bypass, on the full high speed before the hill. The next thing I hear, my brother chatted, full and the smelo, full and the smelo. So I stood up my head, they started firing immediately. Fired the car, fired the car. Ah, in my mind, I, I, I lost, but the courage came to me, say, declare who he are in my mind. I just say in my mind, I am a chosen, I am a chosen, God of chosen, take over. So, Along that road, there was firing this motor, and the, the one thing that this God of choosing did, that my brother lost, he don't know where he is again, and the God of choosing took over the story. Hey! And, and started drive this motor. But the last thing that marvels me today, that there's the whole bullet they shoot in this car, many bullet hit on my body. Some hit on my head, some hit on my hand, but no one enters me. Mm. Clap on to God of choosing! Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And not only me, it's only one mother, one father inside this motto. One mother, one father. Me, my brother, and my elderly brother, and my brother wife inside this motto. So this is the evidence of what, what I'm saying. So after when we go down, they shoot my brother very well, even my elderly brother, but four of us, no bullet enter us. Hey! Clap unto God of Chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. So when, you, when the motor stopped, because the motor 
took out of control without nobody driving this, this vehicle. But the engines of my pastor take over the motor. Hey! And drive. This thing I'm talking is something that they kill this lady they call from Wakada. Mr. Bola Sonti. It's the day this thing happened. In the daylight. That's the day of this thing happened on 5th. They keep many so in this place, but it's only the choosing people, the peculiar people that pass that place. Hey! Thank God I am a chosen. Thank God. Thank God I am a chosen. Thank God. I say thank God I am a chosen. Thank God I am a chosen. Clap unto God. Clap unto God with joy because you are a chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it's only me is a choosing in this boss. So God used me to deliver us. Hey. So I thank God for delivering me from the incident of death. So I give God all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. I, I don't know how to say this, but my I'm full of joy that I'm alive today is by the grace of God. So. For this junction, I wish my G.O. have at us, my mom G.O. have at us, all the choosing have at us, and all the evangelists have at us in Jesus' name. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. What a unique heavenly covenant the pastor of chosen has with God. Thy protecting every choosing all over the world, even in the face of death. Just look at that testimony. And also, if you have been listening to news, it's been horrible, terrible. The killings, the deaths that have been recorded all over the country, even in that axis. But choosing ones are going everywhere on hot, according to the commandment, the decree of the servant of God. He said there shall be no casualty for the choosing ones. And he said no choosing will die prematurely. And no choosing will die a day before. He's standing for choosing. And that is why you must do everything possible to remain a choosing. And to bring people to choosing. To make your family members to be choosing. Listen, evil is increasing. And it appears like there is no end. But thank God that the pastor has consistently proclaimed and said that because of the choosing people, he said there is a solution for Nigeria. I don't know whether you were here on Thursday. Pastor reenacted that decree. He said because of you, choosing people, because of you, it shall be well for Nigeria. That's the pastor's commandment on Thursday. Is that be a choosing, spread the news, bring people to choosing food, they'll be protected, they'll be incubated, and they will finish well and go to heaven at last in Jesus' name. Clap unto God and I appreciate it. Clap unto the God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. The next testifier. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing people, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Rosalyn Edwin. I live at Jack Conde Estate, Jack Conde Regional Headquarter. Choosing, praise the living God. Hallelujah. I joined Choosing 2002. My testimony goes like this. Since beginning of this year, I've been having health challenge. And uh, the thing continued. When I went for test, they said it's malaria plus plus and typhoid, which I started treating. The more I treat, it gets worse. These are the signs. My heart is as if they use razor blades to cut it, put pepper and put fire. And the back of my head, not all my head, the back of my head, the same thing. My hands and my legs very cold. Choosing praise the living God. Hallelujah. I have taken all manner of injection, treatment. When I'm treating, I'll be okay. Milela, I stop. It continues. I might be sitting down like this. I'll tell my husband, my body has changed. 
It will just change immediately. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then I noticed two months ago, somebody will walk into the room. I live in a flat. Somebody will walk into the room where I am, only me sleeping, between the hours of 1 and 2 o'clock. And the person will be smelling like dead body. Hmm. Choose and praise the living God. Hallelujah. And immediately I gain consciousness. I will shout, I'm a choosing, I'm a choosing. That spirit will disappear. Hmm. I say, what is this? And evil dreams that I cannot even mention here. I said, well, they said when there is malaria, you'll be having barber dreams. And people say to treat uh, malaria plus plus is difficult. But because I know who I am, I'm a choosing. My case is different. Correct. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then my junior sister who stays in Quara State called me and said, Sister, I have evil dream this morning. Even as I'm talking to you, my body is shaking. Hmm. I said, what happened? She said she saw my enemy in a coffin. That they have printed poster everywhere. That people were calling her, sending her WhatsApp message. I said, what? He said, yes. He said, sister, please, oh, you know how my dream is. I want you to go to one church. I will not mention the name where they do deliverance. You will camp for one week. And they will conduct deliverance for you. I laugh. I say, you know I'm a choosing now. My geo will pray for me. She said, I know you are very stubborn. You will not go. You so much believe in this, your church. I say, as if you know. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. With that, she was angry and she off the phone. That was when my spirit triggers. I say, who wants to kill himself, not me? I am a choosing. My pastor has decreed that I am not going to die a day before my death. Choose him, praise the living God. Hallelujah. But every time my mind goes to that dream, I started imagining that dream. But I will always say, who won't kill me, go kill himself. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The last combined before this one, I was sitting at the back there. I was even cold. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. At the end of the service, my Joe was praying. He said, there is somebody here, I cancel spirit of death. Hmm. I claim it. He said, there is somebody here. There is a man terrorizing the family. I give that man three days. Choose him, praise the living God. Hallelujah. On Monday, Tuesday early morning, they called me that my uncle died. Choose hey. him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I, I was shocked. Immediately, is this same my sister that called me? He said, have you heard? As, as early as between eight and nine. I said, have you? I said, what? He called his name. He said, he's dead. I, I quickly dropped the phone. I started dancing. Hmm. I was dancing in my sitting room with all the children. They were all dancing with me. I said, who won't kill me? Don't kill himself. He was not sick. He went to work. He slept and he did not wake up. Choose him. Hey. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank this God of choosing. After he died, to show all those signs, it's up to three weeks now or two weeks, it's all those signs, sees. Hey. I don't know dead body enter my room anymore. The chest pain disappear. The headache disappear. You can see me, I am sound. Clap on to God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Choosing praise the living God. Hallelujah. I really thank this God of choosing who has so done so good thing to me, to my life. My second testimony goes you like know, this. Before you go to your second testimony, it's very important to learn the lesson from this testimony. If she had heeded the advice for her sister to go to somewhere, for prayers, the enemy would have achieved their wicked intention. I thank God that our sister is a choosing indeed, and she understands that there is no power any other place that can meet the power of God in the Lord choosing. And so, 
I also hope that you'll be able to call that your sister again and tell her that any time she wants to refer people to somewhere, she should refer them to choosing. You should start referring people to places where there is no solution. Now, the person who is given the word of knowledge is not that we rejoice for the death of any person. If you listen to I say, Pastor gave six days. Three days. How many? Three days. Three days. Three days. Yes. And it was meant for the person to repent. Because Pastor will always say, the person should repent. If he does not, then he said, we will hear the news. And now we have heard the news. Our sister is living. She's a choosing. Refer people to choosing. Don't allow any person to drag you to anywhere that they say they are fasting, they are doing deliverance. And then they will connect you to evil spirits. And then they will accomplish their wicked intention. Be a choosing, bring them to choosing like our sister did. Stand on your word. And you will testify like her in Jesus' name. Let's clap unto God and appreciate it. Clap unto the God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Choosing, your second testimony now. Choosing praise the Lord. Is Hallelujah. He's still consigning this man. You know, prior to this, anywhere they go to, they will always call me on phone that they said that our particular home needs deliverance. They have taken a lot of pastors, prophets. There was a prophet that went there. On their way coming, they had a fatal accident. Two people died and the prophet broke his hand. Till today, she can't use her right hand. Choosing Ooh. praise the living God. Hallelujah. I really thank God that I'm a choosing. They know I'm a choosing. They know that. Ooh. They know. My family know that I'm a choosing. They do say it. They know. They call me choosing Mopo. My father call me choosing Mopo. Choosing praise the living God. Hallelujah. I really thank this God of choosing for what he has done for me. I glorify his holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to pray for my daddy Gio. My daddy indeed. My prayer that God will continue to lift him up higher and higher in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God will give him a strength of a unicorn. Mm. God will protect our mommy and the Lord. That no weapon formed against them that shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I wish my daddy Gio, my mommy Gio, the family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for every one of us. That testimony will never depart away from our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover myself, my family, with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Clap and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I appreciate the God of choosing. He has given us something. Choosing is untouchable, unassailable. If you stand in the way of the chosen, our pastor said you will get into confrontation with God. Thank you, Father. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Onyinye Onoha, living at Sedim, Sedim Uwo branch. We are coming from Sedim Uwo branch. I joined Tuesday in 2006. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The little brother in my hand is Brother Onoha, Akachuku, Jubilee, David. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God of choosing for what he has done for me and my family. In fact, my heart is full with joy. If there's any house, somebody can see somebody's heart. I will say I'm the happiest person here today. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God how he healed me of heart enlargement. It happened 2016, December time. In one morning like that, I wake up around 5 or so in the morning to make prayers, morning prayer. All of a sudden, I just sleep took me away. I saw myself in my two bridge there. I was going, and a youth from our branch was shouting my name in that dream. When I turned back to see who was calling me, behold, one youth from our branch. So she was shouting and saying, Mommy, look at your side. Something is about falling on you. I stand to see what, is, what she's talking about. And behold, trailer loaded. 
40 feet in that dream fall on me in that dream. Mm -hmm. And immediately that thing happened, I saw that my spirit left my body. I saw my body full, full with full of blood in that dream. So people gathered and were saying, ah, she have died, something like that. So I was looking at myself in that dream. I said, but I'm okay. But I saw my bo body full with pool of blood. All of a sudden, I disappeared from that place. I saw myself somewhere else. In that place, two people came to welcome me. As they came, so I, I don't know where I am in short. So they told me, sister, stay here. When you get to your turn, you will be judged. So I told them, judge, they said, yes, it's one after the other. So I look around, I saw so many people there. So I was telling those people there, because the way they dress, I was telling them, this thing you people are wearing is a sim I'm sure they kind of preaching to them because the way they dress. So the people, two people that came to receive me and told me that, sister, these people, they don't have opportunity, again, of repentance, that I should leave them alone. I said, okay. Then I asked that people again. I said, does it mean that I have died? They did not respond. Then I started singing, where is the God of my pastor power? Where is the God of my pastor power? Where is the God of my pastor power? Deliver me. Immediately I sing that song, I find out that my spirit disappeared out of that place. I saw myself back inside the room where I was sleeping. And my spirit walked to my body and entered back. Brothers Ooh. and sisters, that is how I came back to life. Choose hey. him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap unto God of chosen. Thank you, Father. After that incident, a week after, I fell ill, seriously. When after that dream, I called one of our pastors that was with us in that brain that time, Pastor Chine Edu Matthew. I narrated the whole story to him. He prayed for me. Then, after one week or so, I fell ill from malaria, typhoid, low BP, so many things. The thing landed to this heart enlargement. I was taken from place to place for treatment. Finally, the final place that we went, they told us to bring 800,000, me and my husband. So the money was nowhere. As at that time, we don't have that much. So I called to one of our brother. I said, brother, please look at what is happening to me. So the brother said, sister, I will not give you such amount of money, but I will tell you, go to Jesha. Every Thursday, come here. Your solution lies here, not in that hospital. I said, okay, sir, but I'm not buoyant enough for that. He told me, don't worry, I'll be sponsoring you every Thursday. And behold, that time, brothers and sisters, I cannot be able to use, my heart cannot be able to carry my body. As in standing, as I'm standing now, I can't. Except the help of my husband or some beloved brethren that came around to help me as at that time. I was so ill that I can't do anything of my own. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you, that brother was sponsoring me, I was coming here. One particular Thursday, Daddy was mentioning my case actually, but there's a one particular Thursday, Daddy mentioned my case here. He said somebody had a projected sickness into your body, and they throw you into a pit. You are suffering this, you are suffering that. You don't know how your body is. As Daddy mentioned it immediately, I fell under anointing. At the back there, I don't know the, the time I came to the front here. My brothers and sisters, after that, since that time, say now, I want to tell you, I don't know how that sickness Roll the way. Choose him. Power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My second testimony goes like this. Let, let me ask you, when that brother told you or that person told you to begin to go to church, you were not a choosing at that time? Is I that... am a choosing, sir. Okay, but the man told you to be coming on Thursday. Yes, he told me that there is no solution in the hospital. No need of me going to hospital and be spending money. Okay. That I should be coming every Thursday. And that you, God. And you started coming. Yes, sir. And God has taken away all the afflictions. Yes, sir. Let's clap unto God and appreciate it. <laughs> clap unto God of chosen. My second testimony is concerning this, my baby in my hand. God of choosing break the yoke of six years and nine months of delay in conception. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we clap on to God of chosen? Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of chosen. This is a product of Jubilee last year. Jubilee hmm. last year. Hey. When Daddy was rounding up that Saturday, Daddy mentioned and said, he said, there is somebody here. God has visited you with a Jubilee child. He said, and the coming of that child shall bring jubilation to that family. And the name of that child shall be called Jubilee. 
Down that place, I said amen, I claim it, and went home. I want to tell you, that month did not pass me by. Power! Hey, hey, hey. Has the servant of God spoken? It must surely come to pass. When I was pregnant for this child, brothers and sisters, you know when I was sick of that heart enlargement, they told me no more child. Any place we go, they say, how many child do you have? I say two. They say, thank God you have two. No more. Forget about it. But I want to tell you, throughout the nine months of this child, I did not visit hospital. I this God of choosing helped me. There was no sign of the heart problem at all, at all. And I put to bed like a Hebrew woman. Not only like a Hebrew woman, brothers and sisters. I put to bed in early hours of that day, that Thursday morning, around 3 in the morning. Heavy rain, thunder, lightning, under rain. I was going to hospital with my husband. And the le as the level was, we are going, the level quickened. I could not hold it again. My brothers and sisters, I delivered this child on the road, on the heavy rain on that day, without nobody. Only Thank me by you, myself. Son. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God of Chosen. God is the one that started this, and him alone has perfected this. I am here to glorify his name for what he has done. I cannot thank him enough, brothers and sisters. This is what God of choosing have done. And I pray for as many that are here that are looking for the same uh, blessing. I pray that God of choosing that did jubilee for me and my family last year. We did the same for you all in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for what the G.O. heaven at last. More grace, more power. Unshown to function in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for angelic body for him. Body that will not know pain. Body that will not know sickness and affliction in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for our mommy. Grace to continue to flow our daddy. And sadness of body in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray for the entire family. Daddy family as whole. Well. Heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. My beloved brothers and sisters. Heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap unto God of chosen.